Hello? Has everybody gone home? Is anybody here? All right. It's just you and me. You know what time it is. I trust that everybody had a wonderful time during the holidays and you were prepared to have a safe and festive Happy New Year. So, um, give you a quick update. I got an amazing Christmas gift. Sitting right there. We're gonna debut it here on After Hours at the Warehouse. That's right, I got a hoverboard for Christmas. I thought it would be awesome to take you on an after hours at the warehouse while I'm gliding along on the warehouse uh, floor so I can get around quicker and show you guys what's going on here after hours at the warehouse. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so one thing that I know it's new is these new hats. A lot of people were asking for the camo hats, and uh, we have them now with camo in the front and then black in the back, or camo in the front, and white mesh on the back. Some people, we a while back, I believe we had some camo hats, but they were the flat bill, and some people wanted more of these, the curved bill, so that's what we have here. So these are available either now or soon. Let me see what else I can find that is new. Oh, I know. Let's go check out these Zing Minis. Uh, I talked about the Micro Recruit last time. Little Godzilla putt action. But I couldn't find these last time, but I want to show them to you now. All right. Like I said, the tricky part is getting off. Yeah. So what's really cool is they come in the different, they have the different logos on here. They have West Side, Latitude 64, Digital D's, the Trilogy logo, and then just the Dynamic Discs, regular standard logo there. They come in all kinds of different colors, but what's really cool is you set up your micro recruit and you can actually do some putting practices at your desk at a table if you're at a conference uh, if you're at a like a conference meeting you can just use it to pass the time oh boom again it's in the follow through people it's in the follow through something else that's really cool about these little zing minis is that if you've got a can, just a regular standard size can, um, you can actually put these on top. Now, well, how is that useful? Well, if you, you're taking a drink and you're out on the course and you, you're not sure if you're gonna drink it for a while, or you don't want it to spill out, you can just take it, slide them over the top, and it stays right on the top. That's pretty neat. So have you ever been out on the course playing and you look at the basket, you, you did your putt and you're like, where is the next tee? Where do I go to tee off at the next hole? Some of the baskets have good solutions. We have a solution for our baskets. We call it a next tee arrow. Voila. Let me show you how it's done. So what you're going to do is you're going to, all you have to do is place this right place it right here and just push down on it and it clicks right in there pops in there and then you can put it on any one of these and it'll show the people the direction to the next tee pad you're probably thinking yes we we know the baskets have that but we're excited because these are specifically made for veteran baskets and they're pretty cool and they're sturdy and they'll last in the, all the weather out there so these are available right now. 
Did you pick up on what just happened? Did you see the color of the basket that I was putting that little next T arrow on? Did you notice that? I bet you didn't. Well, let me let you in on a little something. Some of you guys don't particularly like the white veteran baskets. I don't know why, they're beautiful baskets, but some of you wanted some different color options. We have it for you. Now they come, they will be coming in a red, Don't pay attention to that. These are just prototypes. The, the bottom will have red and they may or may not be portable. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But there's a red one. There's a black one. Look how that veteran looks on that black. Looks so sweet. It's got the angled bars on there that we like to have on there. It's kind of a signature thing to our baskets. And then blue now we don't have the color we don't have here for me to show you is we also have a gray they didn't tell me if it was a dark gray or light gray but it's gonna be a gray so we're gonna have them in f we're gonna have them in four colors ha five colors gray blue red black and of course the white that we have already. So now you've got your choices of different colors for veteran baskets. Did you notice that I had these set up as kind of a little obstacle course? Oh yeah. Something I forgot to mention when the baskets were over there is that these the, these flags, white flags, these are available as well. These you can buy dynamiccoursedesign.com as well or even at dynamicdisc.net. Anyway, you can buy these white flags and make it a lot easier from a distance to, uh, or if you can't quite see the basket over a hill or something like that elevation, that way you can kind of see the basket a little bit better. Look, he's gone. The loneliest bard found a home, but now there's more. But these guys have friends this time, so way to go. Thanks for finding that bard a home, a forever disc golf home. Thanks guys for joining me on this After Hours at the Warehouse. If you are enjoying these, thank you for the comments on these videos. I think it's awesome. If you keep on enjoying these, uh, as we get new stuff in, I will keep doing these, but make sure you like the video, comment, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so that uh, you make sure you are notified every time we upload a video. Got a lot of stuff in store for 2017. As far as YouTube content, you're gonna be part of some of our disc golf adventures as we travel to tournaments. We're gonna have some clinics from our team players uh, guest posts on our uh, guest video posts on our YouTube channel so it's gonna be a lot of fun whoa whoa can I slow down slow down slow down slow down <laughs> Woo, got a little close to those boxes